welcome back, guys. Happy Friday the 13th. Um, Odin is gone for a while, I think, because Odin learned her truth time. And I try to tell him, you know, I try to tell him. Um, I love him, but his one major thing is he thinks that if he's forceful enough, He's dominant enough, he'll get his way. Now, remember, I've dealt with a lot of deities like that. I tend to attract that type. Where one thing, Apollo was trying to be his friend, and Apollo was trying to come on as an advisor and say, Look, um, I can tell you, Apollo being Apollo, but one thing you can't do is control the human heart. You can get rid of all the statues you want, get rid of all the books you want, burn other gods' temples to the ground, but if the people still love the deity, they're still going to love the deity. They're just going to do it in secret, and they're going to do it, you know, maybe in the private place of their heart. Um, which is why there's so many exhortations in the Bible about, you know, just because you've gotten rid of this temple and you've gotten rid of these statues, I know you, you still love these other gods, because they know. If a deity is being honest with themselves, they know. If you loved a deity, even if you came to the natural end of your time together, you're still going to always love them and be fond of them. There's no way an incoming deity can get rid of that, and they're foolish if they try, because it ends up damaging their their um relationship with you. In the last couple of days, I've been getting up, and Ona's been kind of, like, pissed off. And I'm like, okay. What are you mad about now? And he's been kind of mad because even though we're going through and we're getting rid of stuff, and the funny thing is, we're getting rid of stuff that Santa didn't want me to get in the first place, and we're finally getting rid of it. And you can feel, even though she's not supposed to be here, there's somewhere in the background, in the distance, yeah, yeah, party. And, you know, we're getting rid of some stuff that we got for the old channel, and it's like time to admit that that ship has sailed, and, you know, it's just time to let it go. It's not worth anything. There's there's no use trying to sell it on eBay because it would cost more to ship it than it's worth. And it's like, you know, it's, it's time to get rid of some stuff. So we've been doing that. And I think Odin truly thought that as we were doing that stuff or statues got broken or something, that would, you know, sever all connections. It's never going to. Um, I came up last night, you know, I'd come down and went back up and I play classical music for a couple hours every night to unwind. Well, there's this gentleman that likes to play spirituals, and either you're like, oh, okay, I appreciate that, that is part of American classical style of music, or you're like really up in arms. I actually kind of appreciate it, because at least with the spirituals, they're in a musical range I can hear the words of and understand, and they're usually in English, because they're American spirituals. When they play this stuff, especially if it's operatic or it's Latin, it's usually, it's such a high pitch, I can't even make out the words anyways. I would be okay if I had text in front of me, but this is the radio. It doesn't have text. Yeah, it's an old-fashioned radio. Um, and, you know, I didn't mind it, because it was like ba Balm of Gilead. And I'm like, oh yeah, we're all going, we could all use that Balm of Gilead. Let's just all go get some Balm of Balm of Gilead, and, and Odin's ready to explode. The other Norse gods don't have a problem, but Odin's ready to explode. I'm like, oh, oh, shut up. Balm of Gilead. I, I'm, I'm hitting the mic now. I'm gonna go get some of that. Can't you just feel it? Can't you feel the Holy Spirit? And Odin's over there, I'm like, rah, 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 rah. I'm like, hey, I grew up in this. This is just an automatic response. Somebody's mentioned the Balm of Gilead, and I'm like, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> He's just pissed off. I'm like, well, then you shouldn't have picked an American, damn it, because we are highly <laughs> spiritual people. And you could take the Catholic out of the church, but whether you ever take the Catholic out of the Catholic, I don't rightly know. You know, it's just, it's in there. It's like Progresso. It's in there. And he's just pissed off right now, and he's being pissy, and it's Friday the 13th, so we're thinking of having a fiesta, and, you know... And the other gods, it really gets a sense of, you weren't wrong. You should have trusted your intuition. They've always been here. It doesn't matter if Odin, like, would magically open up the front door and, like, throw everything out of the house. And I would have nothing left but furniture and clothing. Um, Odin can't sit for that connection. I think he's beyond pissed. There is 
stuff beyond the All Father's power, and this is really pissing him off. He he likes to test his limits, and the one he finds them is like John McEnroe playing tennis. It, it's like he's throwing the racket, and he's cursing, and he's he's just pitching a fit, and he's going to be expelled from the game. I think that's actually why they threw him out of um, Asgard for a while. They, they have these different theories of, you know, why was the old father kicked out. I think he just threw a fit one day and everybody else was like, you know what? Out. Out. Um, and I had went to Frigg and Frigg was like, he's just being unreasonable, my dear. And I said, see, this is why we should have a queen. And she's like, mm-hmm. Um... Because uh, I had that minor sociology, remember? So as I'm watching this conservative stuff, I started to pick it apart. I'm like, you know, this is a bunch of rich white men talking to each other, saying nobody can be oppressed because they're a poor black woman because I'm a rich white man and I'm not oppressed. I'm like, did you hear what you just said? Say it again, slowly, until you understand you're on total different end of the spectrum. One of you is rich, one of you is poor, one of you is a man, one of you is a woman, one of you is white, one of you is black. It does make a fucking difference. And then, um, now I know why John Stossel got fired. He had one of those, um, affirmative action cupcake cells where <laughs> they're really fucking insulting, like, the, um, cupcakes for Chinese people are, like, really expensive. Cupcakes for white people are, like, kind of expensive. Cupcakes for black people are really cheap, and it's like, they use that to fight affirmative action. They have affirmative action bake sale. It's like, um, dude, you're proving why we have affirmative action in the first place. Um, we start helping people because, traditionally speaking, they have disadvantages. They can't even get into a college, or they have to go start their own colleges, and then white people win in those colleges, because they're better colleges, right? And, you know, they can't win, so we start out programs to say, okay, we can see you can't win, because no matter what you do, somebody comes along and fucks it up for you. Here you go. Here's, like, a little step up. This is all we're giving you, man. Maybe we'll give you college, but we're not just going to give you a job, we're not, you know, we're not just going to give you money, you got to have a plan, and they're like, okay, I get it, you're, you're giving me some help, and so we give them some help, and other people get pissed off, and they go, why are you not giving me help, and it's sort of like, why don't you get the extra power-ups when you're first place in Mario Kart, because you don't fucking need them, that's why, um, it, you know, you're already in first place, you don't need the help. It's like if you're an Olympian and you're going to be running against people that have never ran a race in their life, you don't need any fucking help. You should smoke these people. Unless you fall down and trip and pass out, you should smoke these people with no problem. There might be a freak chance of somebody with a weird ability that nobody knows about or somebody might have, you know, doped themselves up, but chances are you're going to smoke these people. That's why you you know, you give some people help because they need the help. And it's like, yeah, I think he's just pissed off because, you know, he had this master plan and it didn't work out. And I'm like, well, you know, um, I don't know what to tell you, man. And his book still hasn't shipped, by the way. They've, they've kind of got that thing of where they've printed the shipping label, apparently. And they told the company they printed the shipping label, but they haven't shipped it yet. So I'm like, well, if it doesn't ship by Wednesday, I'm just going to tell them to cancel the damn order. Because I don't think they have the book. Just because I've learned from experience. Just because they print a shipping label doesn't mean the thing exists. I waited one time, two months, for something to ship from China. And then they cheerfully told me, after I contacted them, the Chinese customs wouldn't let it through customs. I'm like, you've had my money for two months, and you knew this within a couple of days, and you didn't give me my money back? So, yeah. So, kind of a mixed bag today, but it's Friday 13th, so we're going to try to have a celebration. And, you know, if it does end up becoming a mixed household again, it's actually Odin's own fault. Because Odin tends to get overly masterful and overly, this is my territory and mine alone. And then, you know, empirically speaking, nothing changes. It's not like, okay, we got rid of this or we got rid of that. And, boom, you know, like, I won the lottery or, you know, something else happened or this unexpected gift came in the mail if that if that would happen you know if that would happen if he would be like i'll show you how strong i am 
I'd be like, fine, okay, great, only Norse household, but it never happens. It's like you get your way, and you get your way, and you get your way, and really stuff stays stable, you know, that's good, but other than that, nothing's really happening. And, you know, I love our gods, I do, but you've also, you know, I got allergies yesterday. You gotta be working your ass off, too. So it's like, I love our gods, I value all the help they give us, but it's like, you're also working your ass off, too, and you have to remember that. It's not like you're just sitting there passively and the gods are dumping stuff in your lap. You're working your ass off to get what you're getting. Um, I love the gods, like I said, thank them for the blessings, but I worked my ass off to set that other channel off. I worked 15-hour days sometimes, guys to get that channel to the point where I can walk away and even though it generates a pittance, it's still generating a pittance. It's like, that's why I worked my ass off, so it would generate something. If YouTube wasn't as fucked up as it is and didn't give most of my money away to people that claim they have the music rights, I'd be making a good income, but I'm not, so what are you gonna do? So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.